What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be doing a broadhead test on the Day 6 Evo broadheads. We ain't doing no ordinary tests. We're going to be doing four tests. We're going to do an accuracy test with these broadheads compared to the field points. We're going to be doing a penetration test with about two foot of cardboard layered up. And then we're going to do another penetration slash durability check test. With this right here, we got a deer hide, a big old cow hip bone, and that two inches or two feet of layers of cardboard behind it. And that'll be a durability slash penetration test. And then our final test will be a little blood slash bleeding test. We'll see how well this will make a deer bleed out with a, with a jug of water that's covered. So let's get after it. I'm testing these bad boys out. So first things first, we got the day six broadheads right here. Now this is my practice broadhead, so this is just going to be for the accuracy test and then we're going to whip out a brand new broadhead for the penetration test and the durability slash penetration test. These broadheads are heat treated S30V steel, I guess. I'm not an expert on steel. They are 1 and 1 16th inch cut diameter with half inch bleeder blades on them. The day six broadheads are not the cheapest broadheads, but they're made in the USA. And if you buy the six pack, they come with this cool little carry case. We've got three new broadheads in there. We're gonna be using this one right here for the penetration test. First, we're gonna do the accuracy test though. So. All right. Accuracy test. So I'm just gonna shoot the target. All right, so. With the accuracy test, I got 100 grain fill points right here, 100 grain Day 6 Evo broadheads with half inch bleeder blades, and two, two gold tip 340 spine um, arrows. All in all, this is about a, almost 500 grains of arrow I'm shooting. I got 100 grain brass inserts, got some nocturnal knocks, and then 70 pound draw weight. All right, we're going to be shooting from 20 yards. Just a little heads up, I'm going to shoot the broadhead first. Yep. My uh, bow is currently sighted in for broadheads because it's, it's about to be deer season. So I'm going to shoot the broadhead first, know it should be accurate. Then we'll shoot the field point and see what the difference is between the field point and the day six broadheads. All right, I'm going to be aiming for the top diamond. All right, as you can see, I'm sighted in with the broadheads. Hit a little to the right of the diamond, but pretty close. And then the fill point was low left. So it didn't shoot as accurate as the broadheads, but I'm sighted in for the broadheads. Test two, we're gonna be doing a penetration test. We got these layers of cardboard. Now every layer is the same thickness. That's one layer of cardboard right there. I don't necessarily know how many layers I got here, but it's quite a bit. We'll see if the broadhead can penetrate through it and see how many layers it gets through. We're gonna do this without the hip, the cow hip bone and the hide, and then we'll do it with the cow hip bone and the hide. Now let me put the practice broadhead away, get out of freshy. Taking the, taking the practice one off, putting it back in practice. Fresh. Super sharp. Skull baby. First penetration test, layers of cardboard. Brand new broadhead, let's see what it does. Definitely didn't make it all the way through, but made it through a couple. <laughs> Three, four, five. Uh, 
Looks like we made it through 46 pieces of cardboard. That much right there. Let me see my hand placement. All these right here made it through them. Didn't make it through these. So now we're gonna be using the cow hip bone and the deer hide. And we're gonna put that in front of this cardboard right here and see how it holds up against the cow bone and how many layers of cardboard it can go through after shooting through the bone. So this is gonna act as a deer shoulder blade and we got the deer hide on top of it. So let's do it. About to send it through this deer hide right here. Hit dead center with that hip bone, the cow hip bone. Looks like it's a little bit thicker than a shoulder blade would be on a deer. And we're gonna see what this bad boy can do. Smacked her. That sounded pretty cool. It's not a sound you want to hear when you're deer hunting though, I can tell you that. Well, we made it through the hide pretty easy. Looks like we made it through the bone pretty easy as well. Smacked right through her. Now we're gonna see how many layers of cardboard it went through. Dang boy. Went through that many layers of cardboard. A little bit less than what we did last time, but I'm gonna count them up real quick. All right, so we made it through a total of 34 pieces of cardboard and through the hide and through the bone. So that's pretty good. So there's the entry wound right here. Pretty nice, pretty solid. The entry wound on the shoulder. The exit wound. Now we're going to see, check the broadhead. Take it off. It's easier to pull out. Damn. All right. Looks like the broadhead. Held up pretty well. The tip of the broadhead is a little dulled down, but otherwise it's pretty straight. The bleeder blades look like they're a little roughed up. So is this edge right here. I mean, all in all, it held up pretty well. Show them that the exit. The exit's fire. Well, all in all, held up pretty well. The tip's a little bent. It's a little roughed up on the edges, which is expected going through a bone like that. The bleeder blade right here is a little messed up, but you could shoot it again. You might need to sharpen it up a little bit, but I'll be using it as another practice broadhead. Now I got two. Now for the fun one. We're gonna do the water jug and see how fast we can get it all to drain out. Yeah, we're gonna to try to shoot the bottom of it. Now we're not gonna be shooting with a brand new broadhead, obviously. We just shot it at a hide and a bone. It's some cardboard. Now we're gonna set this bad boy out. I'm gonna to try to hit it right here. Looks like we hit it right at the bottom. It's bleeding out. Should we act like it's clean pass through and just rip it all the way through? Let's say it's a clean pass through and see what happens. Oh man.
I mean, it's coming out. Had to open it up a little bit. The arrow was stuck in there, so. Sheesh. What did that take? Like a minute. What a shot. Sunk it right through the bottom. Kind of ripped open the bottom pretty wide, but there's the entry wound. And that was just for turds and giggles, right? Can't say bad words. Well, that's it for the broadhead test. Check it out. Get a good close look, look at it. Held up pretty well. Day six Evo broadheads. These are the 100 grains. And yeah, they're made in America. They're pretty tough. Really, anything made in America is tough. But don't forget about the giveaway. We're doing a tree saddle giveaway, hawk tree saddle giveaway. All you have to do to enter to win this giveaway is subscribe to the channel, send us a screenshot on Instagram. You can also DM or message us on Facebook if you don't have Instagram. Send us a screenshot on there. And if you want two entries, repost our post to your Instagram story or your Facebook story and tag us in it. And you'll get two entries at this giveaway. Winner will be announced October 15th. And we hope y'all are ready for deer season because it's starting to get cold here in Indiana. And we're ready. <laughs> well, peace out. Make sure y'all drop a big thumbs up on this video. Hit that subscribe button and enter to win that giveaway. Somebody's going to win an awesome tree saddle. So, yeah. Peace out. Bought up the stresses, know this they controlling me Get inside from time to time, but don't know what they mean I wanna run, but no, I can't, I ain't up on my feet But I'm a son that knows a man that's watching over me